by again. Today I'm going to be talking about Burt's Bees lipsticks. So recently Burt's Bees have launched a whole new lipstick brand and as you all know I am such a huge fan of Burt's Bees. I was very very fortunate to go to this lipstick launch and also walk away with all 18 lipsticks that they are actually selling. So I thought I would jump on camera and share with you what I have received and talk to you a bit more about the lipsticks and my favourite shades within the collection and also talk about the, lip, the ingredients within them as well because one thing I love about Burt's Bees is the fact that they're very organic and they use natural products and this lipstick is just, it's kind of like a game changer I think because they're both nourishing, natural, and they've also got really good pigmentation, so it's kind of like the best of both worlds in a lipstick, which is just fantastic. So I thought I would kind of jump on camera and share with you my favourites. So, first of all, this is what the lipsticks look like. So there's 18 different shades, going from nude, pink, red, deep berry, brick colours, and a few look like purpley pink shades, which I'm not really a fan of purple, so purple doesn't really suit me. So for instance, one of the shades that I'm not really a fan of is 515 Tulip Tide, and it's not because it's a not a beautiful colour, because it is an absolutely fantastic colour, it just doesn't look very nice on me. So if, I think if you had either darker skin than I do or you have paler skin I think it would probably suit you more but this shade is the one shade that doesn't work for me but the rest are perfect so 17 out of 18 isn't bad is it really 
So I'll tell you a bit more about my favourites. So I do have probably about eight different favourites in here. I can't choose one because they're all so different, but one of the shades that I love so, so much is 502 Suede Splash. And this is like a taupey colour, taupey nude shade. And I've got a very similar colour in my MAC lipsticks, which I previously purchased, I think I bought them about three or four months ago. And this shade is very, very similar to that. And the only difference is MAC lipsticks tend to dry my lips out, so I have to kind of moisturise quite a lot beforehand. But these already have the moisture in them, so it's kind of like eight hours worth of moisturisation. And then you also get the pigmentation on top, so it's really a nice combination. The favourite of mine is, okay, there's two here. So I like 522 and 532. 522 is Crimson Coast, which is the lipstick that the makeup artist at the Burt's Bees launch event said suited me the most. So this one is meant to be perfect for my skin tone and I'm not surprised because it's very much like my Just A Bite lipstick that I purchased from MAC and it's kind of like a deep, deep berry red and it's quite, it's a very dark intense colour but dark colours tend to suit me because of my features. So there's that one. And the next one is 532 Russet River, which is also very similar to Crimson Coast. It's also a very dark, deep red shade. But I really like this because it's more intense than Crimson Coast. It kind of gives that vampish look. And I quite like that with really simple makeup. Another shade that I really love is a 523 Sunset Cruise. And this is this, ooh, this peachy, pinky shade right here. And I love this because it reminds me of summer. When I try this on, corals and pinks tend to suit me anyway because of my olive skin. But this really brings out my tan. And I'm not very, well I am tan because I've got olive skin. But I can only imagine that will intensify when I go on holiday and I get a bit more of a tan and I really like the thought of that and I think it's going to look beautiful on. Another shade that I love so much is 520 Scarlet Soaked and this is one of their reds. This is very, very bright red, very Marilyn Monroe which I love. I love red lipsticks anyway so this is kind of going into one of my favourite collections. And then finally is 501 Blush Basin and this is also a nude colour. It's very nude pink but it's more of a very natural colour so it's a very natural lipstick colour which kind of just reminds me of what your lips probably would look like naturally anyway but it kind of just enhances that beauty. But there's so many shades in here that I would just pick out and say I would wear because I just really love all of their shades apart from that purpley coloured one which doesn't suit me. Let's be like to call it a lipstick that loves you back and they most definitely do. They're really nourishing on your lips and I'm really, I can't speak highly enough of them. So let me tell you what's in it. So the ingredients of these lipsticks is, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly so I apologise if I'm not. So, moringa oil, raspberry seed oil, mimosa flower wax, and community source beeswax, which is pretty much what's in a lot of their products anyway. And I love the fact that it just leaves your lips so soft and smooth. It's just such a fantastic idea for them to bring out a lipstick. Now they need to bring out a lip liner. I know they've got lip crayons, but they need to bring out a lip liner because I really like to line my lips when I wear lipstick now so please but please bring out a lip liner thanks but anyway so that is all 18 lipsticks and I just think they're absolutely fabulous I would definitely recommend them the how much are they let me find out how much they are for you so I'm just on the Burt's Bees website and I'm just checking how much the price is. But I've just seen that they're actually doing a competition. So they're giving away 100 lipsticks every eight hours. So it's got like a, a timer on there. So if you want to win one of these lipsticks, I would definitely head over to their website. I'll put the link below for you. But let me find out the overall price. They're 9 dollars each, which is a bargain really. Most 
high-end lipsticks are around what 15 to 20 pound and this kind of just gives the benefit of a high-end lipstick at a low cost price which is just awesome so I love that but anyway guys that is the Burt's Bees lipstick collection I hope you enjoyed this video and I'm sorry that I completely waffled because I tend to do that oh <laughs> I completely forgot I'm also running a little competition myself and I'm giving away this Burt's Bees Nature's Kiss lipstick set and it's got one of their new lip crayons in and a lip shimmer in there as well. If you're interested in winning this just head over to Twitter and I'm running the competition on there but just to let you know that this is up for grabs. I hope you enjoyed this video anyway guys and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye!